Every single day you are on a race against the clock and you might not even think about it but every time you cook the clock is ticking for you to get the food prepared and eaten before it gets spoiled. And that is because you are not the only one hungry and eager to eat that food. You are competing with thousands and potentially millions of opponents all wanting to get these so desirable nutrients. And if you are slower than your opponents you will most likely be left with a bad smelling and bad tasting dish that will most likely have to be thrown away. So if you ever wondered why you can't use warm water to defrost meat, why food goes bad when left at room temperatures but it doesn't seem to go bad in a buffet for example, you are in the right spot because my name is Andrew Dandrew and I am on a mission to search this entire wonderful universe for answers to the most important questions and explain these answers to you like you are five. So let's see how temperature makes food go bad. Food can go bad due to multiple causes, but some of the main culprits are enzymes and microorganisms, both of which are naturally present in food. The job of enzymes is to ripen fruits and vegetables, and there are, for example, the ones taking a banana from green to yellow to brown, changing its texture and its taste in the process. Microorganisms, on the other hand, are there for the same reason you are, to consume the nutrients and use them to their advantage. These are some of the opponents you are racing against. You want to prepare, cook and eat your food before the enzymes get a chance to completely break it down and before the microorganisms get to multiply enough so that their byproducts ruin the smell, the taste and even make your food toxic to eat. But we have an ace upon our sleeves and that is temperature. And this is because all of these enzymes and microorganisms have a temperature range where they feel really comfortable doing their job. And room temperature happens to fall exactly into this range. Keeping your food at room temperature will allow the enzymes to work and the microorganisms to multiply really fast, releasing a lot of harmful byproducts in the process. Add to this the effect of sunlight and oxygen and you will have food that can go bad in a matter of hours. But if we take the food outside of this temperature range, the enzyme action will slow down and microorganisms will have a really hard time multiplying and releasing the byproducts or they might even die. And this temperature range is considered to be between 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 5 degrees Celsius to about 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius. Generally speaking, the further away the storage temperature is from this range, the longer the food will last. This is why food lasts a lot longer inside a freezer compared to inside a fridge. High heat has the same effect. It inhibits the microorganisms from multiplying and spoiling the food. And this is what most food buffets use. They have different sources of heat, like lamps or even burning sources, to keep the food above the safety temperature range. Using warm water to defrost meat is dangerous because the ice and the warm water will combine and get the meat to the exact temperatures where microorganisms have a really easy time multiplying. So if you want to be on the safe side, use cold water and cook the meat as soon as possible. This video is over. If you enjoyed it, make sure to click the subscribe button. Maybe also click the icon next to it so you can be notified when I upload a new one. Until the next one, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day, week. My name is Andrew Dandrew and I guess I'll see you next time.